Hey guys, JC here. I'm gonna post a couple videos. Um, the first one real quick, I'm gonna get it out of the way. Thought about not doing this, but I figured a bunch of people asked about it, so why not? Rattray's Bagpiper's Dream. And, uh, not that I really care, but I'm just on here giving my honest opinion as everybody should. Um, but you know, sometimes it kind of, you know, not necessarily that I really give a shit if it rubs somebody the wrong way or not, but, um, you know, you don't want to feel like you're bashing a tobacco or something that a lot of people enjoy, you know, cause everybody's taste is different. That's just the whole thing in my opinion. So I can get, I guess you can already see where this review is headed. I'm not even smoking the tobacco I'm reviewing basically because I can't smoke it. It just tears my tongue up so bad. Um, I had a Peterson blend. I forget what it was called. Um, about two or three weeks ago, did the same thing to me. It was one of those aromatics, one of those Peterson aromatics. Of course, there's a plane going overhead right now. I guess you guys can probably hear that. It's pretty loud. But yeah, I mean, um, the tobacco itself, I'll pop it real quick and show you guys. Um, but it's Bagpipers, Rattray's Bagpipers Dream. And I had several people, I think it was maybe even four, tell me that this was their favorite aromatic. Um, so, you know, Rattray's makes good stuff, but just certain aromatics for some reason. I'm very sensitive to a lot of aromatics. I don't know why. I've just always been like that. Um, but it smells very boozy, boozy raisiny type of thing, and that's kind of what you get. The, the flavors I can get out of it anyways are very boozy and raisiny type of thing. It's got a nice, sweet, boozy flavor to it. Um, but it says it combines black Cavendish, golden Virginias, with hand-riped Virginias and curly. Doesn't say what kind of curly, but, you know, I'm not sure. And it says cutting mixture is what it says for the cutting of it. But um, that's actually the first Rattray's that I've had that's an aromatic. All the other Rattray's blends I've had, I think I've had five of them other than that so far, and they've all been good. So, you know, it's just certain aromatics do that to me. And it's more of a chemical thing than anything. I tried smoking it three different times in three different bowls, um, two cobs and one briar. But like I said, I, I just, and it's the same way with, I know a lot of people say Boswell's tobaccos don't bite them. They bite the, the tar out of me. I don't know why. It's just, just the way it is, you know? I mean, it kind of sucks though, because it seemed like it wasn't, and I can see why people like it. The flavors in it were pretty good. I mean, especially if you like, you said, if you like that sweet, boozy, raisin flavor. I mean, that's what I was getting out of it. And obviously you get the candied type of caramel or the candied Cavendish type of flavor that, that comes with it. But, um, but you know, it's, it's kind of hard for me to sit here and talk about a tobacco that I can barely smoke because it gives me so much tongue bite, you know, that's, and then there's a lot of different tobaccos out there I haven't reviewed because it's like, you know, am I just going to sit here and just talk bad about it the whole time? I don't know, you know, but like I said, though, that's just, you know, taste is, you know, everybody's, everybody's their own individual. So taste is, is a unique thing. Some people love it. Some people get tongue bite. Some people don't get tongue bite at all. It's just the way it is. But, but tossing the tongue bite out of it, I can see why people like it. Cause it did, it did have some good flavors in there going on. Um, it's the same way with, uh, even that, uh, was it Northwoods, the, uh, Boswell's, um, English blend, it, it tastes great, but it's just like every single puff, it's just, you know, basically like a nail going in your tongue, essentially. Um, that's what I'm saying, you know, I wish it wasn't that way, but it is, but luckily they make so many tobaccos out there that, you know, there's plenty to choose from. And that's, I think that's one reason why I like Ken Byron Aromatic so much. For me personally, they don't burn my tongue up. They they don't bite me at all, you know. Um, some of them he he has that he has made have a little bit there, 
but for the most part, especially the ones he just released recently that I've tried, like just completely 100% smooth. It's it's unbelievable. I don't know how he does it to be honest with you. But um, well yeah, I'm not going to sit here and ramble on about it. You know, it is what it is. It's just I couldn't smoke it because I got tongue bite, so it sucks for me. For you guys that like it, you know, I'm happy for it. But I'll be giving this away to somebody because it's no point in me keeping it if I can't smoke it. But anyways, oh, by the way, I don't even know if I told you what I'm smoking. This is my uh, Moonshine uh, Canadian. And um, I have some Golden Slice in it, some Peter Heinrich Golden Slice, which is another, another comp, uh, one that's competing for my top 10. But all right, we'll catch you guys later. Just let me know in comments if you've had this one before.